Hello, welcome to our Wednesday devotional. I trust you'll have a wonderful, wonderful day. In fact, my thought for today has to do with what you and I enjoy. What is it you enjoy? Uh, my wife has some new things she enjoys now that she's retired. She gets on her phone some uh, things that she calls her coloring, and she'll hit dots and hit spots and uh, enlarge the picture and so forth, and she really can sit there for quite a while enjoying that. Another thing she does on her phone is she untangles knots. I look at that and I'm not even interested. I can't untie my shoelaces sometimes when they get into knots. But she enjoys that. She enjoys things that are different than things I enjoy. Another thing she's begun to enjoy uh, recently is shopping in thrift stores. I think now that she's retired, has less money, thrift stores have become a better option than in the past. But she enjoys things that maybe are not my favorite things. So what is it you enjoy? I was reading in the Bible today and I was reminded of what we ought to enjoy. My wife and I enjoy things together. We enjoy laughing together. We enjoy almost every Saturday night we spend a couple of hours watching uh, gospel music, mostly Southern gospel music on YouTube. We just enjoy sitting there watching that music. We enjoy sitting on our back porch and on our deck. We enjoy that time together. What is it you enjoy? In the Word of God, we read this from Psalm 119, verse 47. And I will delight myself in thy commandments, which I have loved. I wonder how many of us could say, well, here's what I enjoy. I enjoy doing God's commandments. I delight in doing his commandments. Well, the psalmist did, and I believe we can too. In fact, as I was thinking about this, I was reminded of a children's game. I think it's called Simon Says. Some of you will remember the game or a game like this. And someone, the leader, whoever he or she is, says, Simon says, take two steps forward. And everybody, the children, take two steps forward and stop. And they're excited as they wait for the next command. The next command is, take three steps backwards. So they back up three steps and they stop and they're excited about that. And I don't know how long that game goes on. And I don't even know the purpose of that game. But I know this, for the children who are playing, they are delighting in commandments. Someone's telling them what to do. And yet, because it's a game, they delight, they enjoy doing that. I wonder if we can get our hearts and our minds wrapped around the fact that God's commandments should be enjoyable. God's commandments should be that which we love to do. God's commandments should be that in which we delight. The psalmist said, and I would delight myself in thy commandments, which I have loved. You know what we ought to do today? We ought to get into the word of God and find his commandments for us. And then make a determination to do those commandments. And just as much as a child loves Simon says, we ought to love God says. Here are his commandments to us. Today, are we doing his commandments? Are we delighting in his commandments? Again, I ask, as I did when I began a few minutes ago, what do we enjoy? The psalmist said, I would delight myself in thy commandments, which I have loved. God has some commandments that are great for us to be involved in. We need to find them and do them. God bless you. Enjoy his commandments today.